Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. It is about 37 degrees. Um, we got a ton of rain, so it is an absolutely beautiful, perfect day to give birth to piglets. We couldn't have planned it any better than this. It's, be, it's absolutely wonderful. Insert sarcasm. Hang out with me. Let's show you what the heck we got going on. This is a mess. Mm. Little nasty, cold, rainy morning surprise out here. We got mama give birth to, uh, we count six right now. We've kind of dug through the hay and don't see any more. Not sure if she's done or not. This was a small girl that uh, uh, one of our boars accidentally got in with. <clears throat> but uh, we've had some piglets this morning and everybody looks good. Fighting the elements today. Cold, rainy, uh, just kind of, it's just a nasty raw day out. So I don't know why we'll I have to watch her. But we've also got this deal over here going on. This another big mama. She is um, most decidedly close, acting like she's nesting a little bit. So we're probably gonna have even more piglets here. And if, before the day's over with, at least by tomorrow. So we'll keep a close eye on her, buddy. Okay. Uh, we added some hay here, came back out. This girl over here has had seven and there was one dead when they came back to check. And this girl just now had a brand new baby. So we're just gonna watch them for a little while, make sure everybody's okay. Worst day of the year to do this. It's cold and rainy and just nasty. But we give everybody plenty of bed material. We're just gonna watch them, I mean, it's what these animals do, <clears throat> have babies in the wild. And, uh, you know, I know you're gonna beat me up over fairing crates, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it. We'll manage these animals and see how they do. And the idea here being for them to be able to manage this on their own without a whole lot of human intervention. So, wait and see now. I need to help these other two, don't you? Right, this woman just had number six, and I keep trying to catch her giving birth on video, and I'll stand and stand and film and film, nothing, nothing, as soon as I put the phone up. Boom, she, she pops one out. So she's at six right now. Um, this mom over here, she had seven. Uh, we got one over there that uh, didn't make it. So I'm guessing this is probably about halfway through for her. Um, she's not stood up and turned around yet. So but she's still in, in very active labor. Well, I got real worried about them because they were super cold. It's raining. So I went up there and got them. I caught them up and <clears throat> this tote with some hay in it. And I brought them down here to the barn, the hay barn. Um, and we put them in, I put one group in one chicken brooder with a lamp uh, and some hay. Um, and then the other group, there's still some out there because she's still in labor. <clears throat> that big white mama. But this is, these are hers. Uh, so far, the little brown one brown and white girl that this group came out of seven total six alive this group here as of right now 11 total nine alive one was stillborn and one was still in the sack so you know so I was pretty ticked at me because I didn't get them in the barn and I, I admit that's that's my fault it's November um, what caught us, you know, <clears throat> if this had been yesterday, we would have been fine. But what caught us, and it, it's no excuse. It just, you know, it is what it is. What caught us is this this rain today. It's this one day. This will be over tonight. But it's been like 37 degrees today. It's just nasty, nasty, nasty out. And, you know, I should have had them in the barn, but I didn't. And, uh. Now, we've got some pigs that are suffering because of it, so 
I mean, this is my fault. Nobody else to blame. Nothing to say. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I went back and checked that big white mama again. And she's had a bunch more. One of them was real cold. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. So let's get them over into the brooder real quick. Okay, I got them all over in here. This is, gosh, it's coming to focus. <clears throat> so that mama has had, there, there's 13 live piglets in here, and there's two uh, dead ones in the, in the side by side. Again, one was still born, one was born in the sack. A couple of these are super cold. I don't know if they're gonna make it. The only thing we can do is get them in here and get them, get them warm. So I'm gonna try to stimulate them a little bit, keep the heat on them, and uh, you know, just see what we can do. It's a mess, y'all. Don't don't listen to me. Please don't listen to me for pig farming advice. I obviously have little to no clue what the heck I'm even doing. Okay, I had three that uh, I got them out of the box. I had three that were super cold, so I brought them. On focus. Brought them to the house, huh? and I'm I'm videoing. I brought them to the house, and Sondra has got them on a towel in front of a heater. These three were super chilled, cold to the touch. There was one of them that was laying down away from the mama by, I don't know, 10 or 12 feet. So, all we do is just warm them up and uh, see how they do. We just got this little space heater. Dry them off, warm them, stimulate them. All the normal things you would do for like a human baby. So, we'll, uh, we'll see. Overall, so far, I gotta go back and check her. 15. She had unbelievable 15 piglets. All right, so what I'm doing now, this is one of the ones that was really cold. So I'm just running in under some tepid water. Um, not too hot, you wanna warm them up too fast, I don't think. But just trying to warm them up. I had one that was really cold that we done this to a second ago, and he started kicking. That's him right there. Come on, focus. That's him right there. He was very, very listless. Started kicking and he's doing much better. This guy here, he was a little better off to start with, so he's he's you know, holding his head up and pretty active. So. Okay, I, I know this video is going to be convoluted as the devil, but I came back out to check the... So I went to check the mama. No more piglets. She acts like she's still in labor, but no more piglets. She's had 15, and it looks like there are two placentas laying on the ground up there. So I, I think she's done, but she acts like she's still in labor. So we'll just keep a check on her. Um, two, four, six here. This is off that small uh, gilt that started having hers first. Everybody very active. So we're looking good, really good here. Very, very pleased with what they're doing. Over here, <clears throat> I've got 10 of the ones off that big white uh, gilt. Everybody in here um, looks like they're warming up. They're still shivering a little bit, but they're definitely warming up, very active. Everybody looks good here. We still got the three over at the house that Sandra's working on to um, try to get them warm. So let's go back and check on them, see how they're doing. Okay. <laughs> what all you got there? Well, I could show you, but I, I'd hate to flash everybody. <laughs> Have you got them down your shirt? They're down my shirt, and I've also got the heating pad. Down in your shirt? Down my shirt. Okay. What do you think about them? How are they they're doing? Out of the, they're out of the woods. You think we're out of the woods? My yeah, gosh. Out warm. What have you been eating? Piglets? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Oh, don't show us. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the one I was holding under the water first, isn't it? Yeah. They're still a little cold, but they're yeah, coming around. they're coming around. Okay. So I went and checked the ones in the brooder. They are looking really good. The first ones, the ones that was off that little brown and white mama that only had the seven yeah. with the six alive, very active. The other bunch that we had put in off the big white mama, they look a whole lot better too. So they're doing, I think they're doing okay. Better. Yeah. I think these three are coming out of the kinks. I hope so. All right. Okay, we're, we're about to get done here for what we're gonna do tonight. So, Sondra got those uh, warmed up. 
and I've got them back out here in the brooder with all their litter mates and there's a ton of activity. I mean, everybody is very, very active. Um, everybody's warm. We, we, I mean, we look good, look good. So <clears throat> this is the, the 13, uh, again, she had 15 and we got 13 alive. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, but very, very active. I mean, they're, they're looking for mama, which is, that's good. That's, that's the instinct is working. So we're warm and we're dry. Over here, we've got the six. These guys are looking great, doing the same thing. They're rooting around looking for mama. Um, they're warm and dry, and I think we're in good shape on them. I'm gonna go back and check <clears throat> the mom one more time. It's pitch dark out, uh, so I'm gonna go back and check her one more time, and we'll go to the shop and talk a little bit about what, uh, what the plan is and uh, where we go from here. Okay, let's talk about how we got here and what happens next. So on or about July the 26th of this year, we had a, a boar piglet on the farm by the name of Jake. And Jake and his running buddy Nugget had a tendency to get out. And, and we just, we would let them go and just let them sort of do their thing and we'd put them up and they'd get out. But anyway, we found Jake in with this feeder group <clears throat> owner about July 26th and we thought maybe he had bred a couple of those girls but we weren't exactly sure now we know for sure so over the past few weeks we've seen these girls they obviously were getting ready to give birth we had them in one area of the field and we'd moved them to another area of the field and before we moved them Sandra had asked me a number of times to build a lane to put those pigs in and run them into the cattle barn where we could give them a roll or a couple rolls of hay, pull up an extension cord and put some brooder lamps in in case they gave birth in crappy weather. Well, I did. And over the past couple of days looking at the weather, the weather was looking okay, uh, except for today. Um, gonna cool down, but it was supposed to be dry, except for today. And sure enough, Today's when they had them. 37 degrees. I think it might have made it to 38 today. It's rained off and on all day. We'd had some rain late last week. Everything was just very, very soupy, just nasty. The absolute worst conditions except for snow and, you know, blowing wind and ice that you could have piglets in. So here's where we're at. I've got all the piglets that survived. The one mama had six, we got, or excuse me, had seven. We got six alive. The other mama had 15. We've got 13 alive. Everybody's in the brooder. Uh, we're gonna leave them there overnight tonight. This rain is supposed to stop um, in the next couple of hours. We're gonna wait till morning. We'll go out, we'll put in some dry hay, and we'll try to reintroduce those piglets to the mamas and see how they do. No rain in the forecast for the next at least week. Um, it is going to get cold, but I think if we can keep them dry, they're going to be okay. It's the cold, it's the cold and the wet that is just a, it's a deadly combination for, for any baby animal. Chicks, piglets, calves, baby goats, um, lambs, whatever, whatever you're doing. Just the cold and the wet just does not work. So, big lesson learned um, here. Uh, no matter what the weatherman says, uh, just don't dance around it. Give yourself plenty of space, plenty of room. Build in plenty of contingency to be able to give those animals the shelter that they need. Um, I messed up. That's just all there is to it. Um, don't come at me with farrowing crates. It's not going to happen. We're not doing farrowing crates. Um, I think that's cruel and unusual punishment, even worse than a pig having babies in, in nasty weather. Um, I've got the firing huts. We probably could have deployed them if we had done that before today. Once we saw them start farrowing, it was too late then. And again, it just, even, even without the rain today, it was just so soupy and nasty and wet and slick and muddy that we couldn't have got them into the pen or into the paddock where um, those pigs are at anyway. So the farrowing huts, had they been deployed earlier? Yeah, maybe. But again, hindsight's 20-20. 
hope they make it. Please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video.